So I think the most useful features is that it can really fit long context into edge devices or very memory restricted environments. I think that that's the biggest feature because if you look, let's say at artificial analysis, mini models out there, none of them is, is hybrid. Um, and, and just to, 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 to clarify what that means, if you have a 3B model, I think something like eight or 16K context length has the same amount of KV cache as, as a 3B model. So it gets into the, it gets the same memory requirement. So you can, you can't actually, even if you can fit a model in your edge device, you can't really put a long context. And I think people look at long context as something that's very rare, but, but if you think about images as an example, you know, even four images is already long context because usually when you turn images into tokens, it's a few thousand tokens per, per image. So if you wanted to do something local on your phone to search your images, as an example, you can't do that without a hybrid architecture or, or without doing drastical changes because the model plus KV cache won't fit. So I think this is the first really interesting thing about it. 